A common and utterly delicious treat in Morocco is a raif, also known as msemman. To make these, Fatiha takes equal measures of white flour and yellow semolina flour. Here, about 200 grams of each. Adds a teaspoon of yeast and a teaspoon of salt. She slowly mixes in about half a cup of water and works the mixture. Butter and oil are the only other ingredients and will be used later. Have some fun, pounding and pushing and kneading the dough around, working it well with your hands. Otherwise, use a bread making machine. After about five minutes of this, set it aside to rise on its own for a few more minutes. Then, Take the dough and shape it into small balls. Once all the dough balls are made, again set them aside to rise for about five more minutes. Here is when you will use about half a cup of soft butter and half a cup of oil. Spread some oil on the surface and start flattening the dough balls into a very thin sheet. Rub butter and oil on the dough as you fold it. Also adding a tiny bit of semolina flour as you go along. Fold the dough from one side, then the other, always adding butter and oil. Then fold from top and bottom until you have a rough square. Another variant is called melwi, and instead of making a square, you make an oblong shape, then roll it into what looks like a crescent roll and set aside to rise. Heat a heavy bottom skillet. Before cooking, stretch the raif one last time. Adding a tiny, tiny bit of oil. It's ready to flip when golden, but still soft. It should take about four minutes in all until it's golden with crispy edges. Before cooking the melwi version, take the crescent roll and push it down vertically to flatten it into a round pancake. Place it on the pan and cook until golden. Once ready, the melwi is crisp, so place it on its edge and break it open to reveal the round layers. Both the melwi and the raif are particularly delicious with honey, but of course you can also serve them with savory garnishes as well. Enjoy and basaha.